So the next style of trap that we're going to talk about today is the New Jersey light trap. Uh, originally developed in New Jersey back in the, in the 20s when uh, they had some serious mosquito control issues there. It does not work particularly well as a virus uh, trap. It's uh, more designed for counting uh, the mosquitoes that you may have in any particular area. This trap is, is very uh, easy to operate. One of the, the great features about it, it has a photo cell on top that turns it on when it gets dark, turns itself back off again in the morning. So uh, that makes it very easy for, uh, for collection. You don't have to go out in the evening and do anything to set this trap. It's ready to go. So it only has to be visited once a day when you're, when you're collecting the rest of your CDC traps. Uh, you can also collect this one along the way. Uh, the way this trap operates, it operates without any type of attractant other than the light itself. So it is extremely important if you're going to choose a site for this trap that is a dark site. So um, we've chosen this site. We're at the Wyoming Territorial Prison Park here in Laramie. Um, it's in the old, uh, the old ghost town section, and there are no street lights of any type in this particular area. Uh, there's a few lights from vehicles passing a quarter of a mile away, but in general, it's a very dark site. This is the only light on the site that you'll see at night. Once the mosquitoes are attracted to the light, there's a 110 volt fan right underneath the light, and it draws those mosquitoes down through a very fine mesh cone and into the collection cup. So. Uh, the collection cup simply screws on at the bottom. Now we've modified ours just a little bit to make this a little bit easier uh, for our technicians. Rather than using the entire collection cup, we've placed a Dixie cup into the collection cup. It's been perforated in the bottom to allow our Vapona strips that we use in the bottom of the collection cup to kill those mosquitoes and we keep them in a much more contained area and it's much easier then for us to, to grab this sample in the morning when we come to pick it up. And the Vapona kills those mosquitoes much more quickly, so they don't have the opportunity to beat themselves up quite as much um, while they're waiting to die in this particular apparatus. Then when we arrive in the morning, the trap has shut itself off, so it's not collecting anything else. And we've got dead mosquitoes already in the cup that we can go ahead and, and pour out into our collection cup and take them back to the lab. This trap does make a great surveillance tool for numbers, for your uh, nuisance mosquitoes, keeping track of counts. This trap works extremely well for that and is extremely easy to operate. Now, if you're using ramp system, mosquitoes collected in this particular trap will be viable for ramp testing. You can still use those. Uh, you can't use them for live virus because those mosquitoes have been killed and and dried out and you're not going to have live virus left in those mosquitoes. This trap works extremely well in more urban areas. It does require a 110 volt power source. It does not operate off a of battery. So we have to have the power to operate it wherever you're going to run it. 